All right, so let's continue from where we stopped. So I have, um, if the relative density of a metal is 19, solution, the relative density is equal to 19, okay? And then the, they say, what is the mass? We need the mass when the volume under water is 20 cm cube. Don't forget that relative density is density of the substance or metal all over what density of water and don't forget that density of water is equal to what one gram per cm cube okay so if you put it here you have that what 19 is equal to what density of metal all over one so the density of the density of metal is equal to what 19 19 gram per cm cube so but we know that density is equal to what mass over volume so the mass that we are looking for is now what density times volume so which is what 19 times 20 which will give you what Three eighty, three eighty gram. So the answer is D. Solution to this one. Now we have that the div, the div core of any vector is equal to zero. So don't solve anything. The answer is zero. Okay. They say that the div core of vector A, they gave you the vector A is dash. Even if you solve it, you will still get zero. So but don't solve the div core of any vector is zero okay so the answer is just um zero so let's go to question number 31 question number 31 said that if if electric charge is placed in a space in a space where where the potential where the potential v varies varies as v is equal to 8x squared y z cube plus 16 x squared y comma they said the electric field the electric field strength is at at point two three one is a 288i plus 98j minus 288k. Okay. B minus 288i minus 98j minus 288k. C minus 98i plus 288j minus 288k d minus in bracket of 288i minus 98j minus 288k option e none of the above solution now we know that E is equal to minus div A, div V, or grad, grad V, yes, minus grad V. Okay? Question number 31. So, but we know the mean of this man. This is minus E to the mean of this man is what? Pasha, pasha X, I, plus pasha pasha yj plus 
pasha 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 zk then put our v our v is 8 x squared y z cube plus 16 x squared y so this is giving me now minus into now when this meet these people we are differentiating with respect to x so let's differentiate with respect to x differentiation of x squared will give you 16 x raised to power 1 y z cube plus with x again 32 32 x y okay Don't forget to put your i plus the next one differentiate with respect to y so there is no power here so the coefficient is the differentiation which is what 8x squared z cube plus 16x squared j plus don't forget there is no power here so 16x squared is the coefficient that is the differentiation so this into this differentiate with respect to z so i'm having 8 times 3 is 24 24 x squared y z squared there is no x here so differentiation of a constant is zero so i'm left to this one j sorry k you close so now let us put x y z to get our final answer so i have minus into 16 bracket 2 bracket 3 then bracket 1 raised to power 3 plus 32 bracket 2 bracket 3 don't forget that our answer has i plus let's go to j 8 in bracket of 2 squared and 1 cube plus 16 into 2 squared everybody has j plus 24 into 2 squared into 3 into 1 squared everybody has k so let's do that so i have 16 times 2 times 3 96 so i have minus into 96 plus 32 times 2 times 3 192 everybody has i plus 8 times 2 times 2 32 32 plus 16 times 4 64 everybody has j plus 24 times 4 times 3 288k so i have minus into 96 plus 192 i have 288i plus 32 plus 64 96j plus 288k so that is that so which one is correct this one that has minus everywhere is correct because if i open bracket i have minus 288i minus 96 uh how did i get that 96 I sure there's no mistake somewhere. So that is 96. Sorry. 96. I'm the one that made mistake. Okay. So 96J minus 288K. So option B is the correct option. Okay. Question number 33. We're almost done.
Sorry, question number 32. That is said the angle, the angle between vector A and vector A is said 4i plus 2j plus 0k and vector B said 3i plus 3i minus j plus 5k is option A 68.7 degrees option B 86.7 degrees option C 67.8 degrees option D 76.8 degrees option E 64.8 degrees solution now don't forget I told you that if you have angle between two vectors, I can solve it with either dot product or cross product. So for cross product, I have that A cross B, absolute mag magnitude is equal to magnitude of A, magnitude of B, uh, sine theta. Because it's cross. But if it is uh, dot product, A dot B is equal to magnitude of A, magnitude of B, cos theta. So... I prefer using this one because it is easy to get than the other one. So I need A dot B first. So A dot B is equal to my A is 4i plus 2j plus 0k dot 3i minus j plus 5k. So if I dot them, this time this is 12. This time this is minus 2. This time this is 0, which is giving me 10. Okay, so I need magnitude of A. Magnitude of A simply means the square root of uh, 4 squared plus 2 squared plus 0 squared, which will give you the square root of 16 plus 4 plus 0, which is what? Square root of 20. And square root of 20 is... um. Square root of 20, 20 square root. 4.47. 4.47. Okay. So magnitude of B. Magnitude of B will give me the square root of. Let's go again. 3 squared plus minus 1 squared plus 5 squared. Which will give you what? The square root of 9 plus 1 plus 25. Which is the square root of that is 35 because 9 plus 1, 10, 35. Square root of 35, 35 square root 5.91, 5 point okay, 92. 5.92. So if I, I'm looking for the angle, so if I make cos theta. Subject, I'm going to have A dot B all over magnitude of A, magnitude of B. So this is equal to uh, A dot B gave us 10 all over magnitude of A gave us 4.47 times 5.92. So theta will now be what? The cos inverse of any answer you are getting here. So I have. 10 divided by 4.47 divided by 5.92. So I'm having 0 0.3779. Okay. So theta will now be the cost inverse of that. So, and the cost inverse of that gave us 67.8. 67.8 degrees. This is the first one. The second one will now be that theta is equal to what? 180 minus 67.8 degrees. Please, I'm not with calculator. You can try that with calculator, please. So, I have 180 minus 67.8. So, I'm having 112 point. 
0.2 degrees. So any of the two is correct. So option C is very, very correct. So question number 30, 33. So question number 33 said which of the following is a scalar quantity? Which of the following Which of the following is a scalar quantity? Tension. Option B. Displacement. Option C. Force. Option D. Velocity option E mass. So E is very correct. Thirty four. Question number thirty four said. If a ten kilogram, if a ten kilogram body is thrown vertically, is thrown vertically upwards with u equal to twelve, sorry, one twenty meter per second at a height of 5 meters comma the potential the potential energy is option A 74.5 joules option B 500 joules option c 745 joules option d 800 joules option e 20 joules solution energy potential energy is equal to what mgh and the mass they gave us is what did they give us mass 10 Ascension due to gravity, 10. The height, 5. 500 joules. As simple as that. Question number, the last question, 35. If each of the forces of a couple is 50 Newton and lies, okay, and the line, and the line of action are separated line of action are separated by 80 cm comma the work done the work done by by the couple in turning and turning through 
for revolution is option A one zero five point three joules B one zero zero five point four joules C one zero point five three joules D one nine eight four joules E nineteen point three four joules solution Okay, this is the last question we are going to solve. So they gave us, we know that work done, work done by a couple is given by Thor times theta. Thor times your theta. So, and I have that. Don't forget that our theta is equal to what? 2 pi the revolution. Two pi times the revolution. Two times three point one four two times four. So our theta is equal to three point one four two times eight. I'm having 25.136. Okay. So the Tor. The Tor is given by. Two times 50. What's formula for the Tor? I have forgotten that. 2 times 50 times 0 0.4. Okay, 2FR. Yes, Tor is given by 2FR. Yes, which is what? 2 times 50 times. Our radius is um, that being separated by this. So, this is the diameter. This is their diameter. So, the diameter is what? 80 cm which is what 0 0.8 meters and radius is what diameter divided by 2 which is what 0 0.8 divided by 2 which is 0 0.4 meters so i'm having 0 0.4 so which will give you what uh 2 times 50 times 0 0.4 i have 40 so therefore the work done is simply 40 times 25.136 joules. so thank you very much for watching we appreciate please don't forget again that work done in moving a thought is what uh, in work done in moving a couple Okay, or work done by a couple, a couple turning through a four revolution, or work done by a couple is simply a tor, t o u r g u e, times your theta, and the tor is what two pi, sorry, tor is two f, two f times two f r, uh -huh, times this one is um two pi times the revolution, two pi times the revolution. Please master this formula. So I'm going to have, sorry, pi, there's two pi times the revolution. So everything is giving me four pi f r times the revolution. Okay, so four pi f r rav. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and share to everyone that needs it. Bye-bye.